speaks unto them, to him will I give power over the nations. He will not shoot. They say the same thing as the, uh, Jeremiah. Is that where you had Jeremiah? And he, shall, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So what do you do with a rod of iron? Crack a nigga over the head with it. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. Nigga the heathen. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Mm. Even as I have received so of my done. father. So he said we're going to break heathens to pieces. Okay, that's in the New Testament. Uh, we got more. Okay. So the Lord said all heathens are going to get broken to pieces, man. So if you ain't an Israelite, you're going to get broke to pieces. And even actually two-thirds of Israel, they're going to get broke to pieces too. No, Jesus, you know the Lord's black man, right? Yeah, that's what they say. That's what the Bible says. That's what they say. Yeah. Psalms 149 and 6. That the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. A two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Say the same thing as Jeremiah says, the same thing as Revelation. But the Bible is, hold on, though. Yeah, the Bible is consistent all the way through. I read that part again. That, that's beautiful, man. That the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Upon the heathens. Keep going. And punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains. To bind their kings with chains. All these Edomites, there's, a, there's, a, there's some power, there's some rule that's ruining us right now. All the elite, all these people control the world, control all these corporations, all the government, all these politicians, all these devils. They all going into slavery. All them so-called Jews, they all going into slavery. I read that again. It clearly says they're going into slavery. To bind their kings with chains. To bind their kings with chains. Oh, uh, sorry for you, Prince. <laughs> what, what's your boy over there? Uh, King Mary Charles. Oh, yeah, Prince Charles. And with that old ugly transformed baby there. Oh, uh, Prince Harry and Prince uh, Faggot. Yeah. And Faggot. So they're going into slavery. But uh, Queen, they got a queen ruling over their ass. Oh, oh uh, Queen Elizabeth. Lord willing, the Lord keep your ass alive so you can go in the slam. They get their kingdom get cursed the fuck They get cursed out in your own kingdom. <laughs> That's some sad shit. In man. their kingdom, they're the Jew that ran, That's ran by us on my some I don't know what it says. Right he and his kingdom running, getting right cursed in. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some yeah, shit. this was our kingdom. We weren't allowed nobody out here doing this. Hell no, they get slaughtered. Hell yeah. Immediately. But do not doing this, but talking out against us. You ain't know gonna be able to think that way. Yeah, back back in the back in the medieval times, when the Normans was ruling over the, the English, you weren't gonna say shit about the king. Hey, kill your ass. You talk about what you, what you say about the king? Yeah. Off with his head. Pow. Yeah. 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 And they're nobles with fetters of iron. Yeah, the, the nobles with fetters of iron. So we say, this is why when the Lord gives us that power, this is, we're not telling nobody to do this right now either. We're not saying we're gonna stage a revolution. We're gonna get a bunch of- uh, sort of two thirds. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get all the patriots and Ron Paul and then we're gonna start a revolution. <laughs> you know, man, gonna, we ain't talking, that's not what that's talking about. It's talking about when the Lord comes back and gives us our power. That's what that's talking about. And, uh, and we ain't gonna do it before then either, okay? Because we ain't out here to fight nobody, you shoot motherfuckers. It's a spiritual battle at the moment. It's a spiritual battle, that's right. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, this have all the saints. We're all, all the saints of the Lord. Oh, uh, you know the Catholic Church, they're like, the only, you can only be a saint unless your ass got canonized by the church. So unless the Pope said you was a saint and passed it, you ain't a saint. And you can only be a saint when you die. You know, it make no sense, man. Y'all, y'all, they saints, y'all the ain'ts. You know what I'm saying? The ain'ts. Back to the chair, That are my battle axe and weapons of war, and with thee will I break in pieces yeah, the nations, yeah, yeah. and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee. Yeah, because when, when the Lord gives us that power, we're going to have power. And we'll be able to uh, take on a, a, a fighter jet. And we'll be, we'll be like Hancock, just punch a hole through it. Then we gotta do some Superman type shit. We're like the Silver Surfer, you know what I'm saying? We have some cosmic power. 
Do you read the comic books that talk about cosmic power? Yeah, we're gonna have some cosmic power. Yeah, the angels already, they cosmic power. They super celestial cosmic power. They ain't one, one angel so powerful that one angel could destroy the whole planet by himself. That's right. Go ahead. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Yeah, the modern day chariot's a tank. Okay, it's a tank, it's a SWAT vehicle. It's a jet fighter, the F-22, the stealth fighter, yeah, the B-2s, all that. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces. Hey, hold on, he said he's gonna break in the piece. I'm gonna read that again. I did that. Did he say going to kill? Did he say old and young? Yes, he did. That's in the Bible. You must have a dysfunctional Bible. <laughs> <laughs> That must have been Satan to put that one in there. I mean, we had this dude, every time we read something out of the Bible he didn't like, he said, oh, Satan put that one in there. I'm like, can you just give me a list of all the scriptures I'm not allowed to use? Just write all the ones I can use and I can't use down. Just give me a list. Right, let me know. Oh, that man. same dude got fired from work for smoking crack at work. Wow. Got caught smoking crack at work. And with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. Man and woman. So all you hoes gonna get broke to pieces too. All you no good, filthy, adulterous whores, you gonna get put to death. You already heard it, bitch. Oh yeah, she heard it. <laughs> she look good too. That's she she look a little sexy little fucking thing. Like she wanna hear that. No. She's a thick, juicy one. All these fucking bitches. We want this here is fucking sweet nothing, man. We ain't gonna give you all that. We ain't gonna do that when we wanna take advantage of it. We ain't gonna get your money. Then we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but it, it's actually true, though, because the ones who do, do sweet talk, sweet to them, hustle these bitches, they rob them. The same people who uh, to speak all the sweet, soft words, they're the same ones robbing you. Robbing these folks, taking all their money, taking advantage of them. You know, you know what I mean? That, you women need to be taken advantage of. That's the only thing a bitch is good for is to fuck them and uh, get them for their money. What's that? I was listening to that Havoc and Prodigy song. It's called, uh, uh, what's that called? <laughs> Something about I got a bitch. Charge it to a bitch. Y'all heard that song? There's a, there's a song by Havoc and Prodigy called, not from the West Coast, not the East Coast, from the West Coast. South Central Murder Cartel. That's a great name. South Central Murder Cartel. That's great team. I'm recommending y'all listen to some murderers. Now, but they got this song called Charge It To A Bitch, man. That's a beautiful song. And they just tell you how you're supposed to treat a bitch. And you just charge it to a bitch. Make a bitch, the only thing a bitch is good for to buy you shoes, to buy you clothes. You know what I'm saying? She ain't gonna make a good wife. You already done had sex with a thousand men before you got to it. So what you gonna do with that, man? Uh, go ahead. And she ain't gonna believe in the Bible. She ain't gonna believe nothing you say about the Bible. You gotta keep that secret. If you talk to these hoes about the Bible, they, they, they will never return your calls. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta keep the Bible a secret. Don't think you're crazy. Never return your calls. Yeah, you, can, you, gotta, you gotta talk to them about movies. When you talking to a bitch, Oh, you gotta talk about your favorite song and favorite movie. Reality. Reality. Yeah, that's all you can talk to a bitch about. They so, that's all they do is watch like TV. Goes on that charm. Yeah, they, oh, like oh, charming young man. He likes the same movies as me. Oh. So Dumbass bitch. North High to downtown. Hey, leave that. Hey. Leave it, leave it. Hey, hey, hey. No. Okay, help me out? No, no. Two, two, I mean, North High to downtown. Of course. Yeah. What I got to do with the company out for the butt? You can't help the wicked, man. We can't help the wicked, man. Unfortunately, motherfucker, you can't help the wicked. You the wicked, look at, look at you. Look at you. 
Oh, that's what they say. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Hold the bus. Well, well, that's what they say. Yeah. So, so why are we gonna help a motherfucker like that? <laughs> well, actually, we gonna pray to the Lord kills him. Actually, that's right. Yeah, I was hoping he missed the fucking bus. Yeah, he probably died at night from a heart attack. He gonna go out like Big Pun, man. He did. He looked like the black Big Pun. No. He was fucked up. His belly was. Well, like, I don't see fat people with big bellies, but his belly look like he had something wrong with his belly. He just breathing yeah. all heavy and shit. Something, man. choking on his own chin. Oh, can't help it, bro. You probably don't have all kinds of shit. Living you life. All kinds of shit. Well, see, the person like that can't sleep right. That he can't relax enough. So his heart is weak. His lungs is fucked up too. So he got to take meds and nothing. Oh, and yeah, so even little, little, little children are gonna get killed. The Lord gonna kill little babies. Little Edomite babies, they're gonna get stomped upon. Mm. You know what I mean? All these little heathen children, they're gonna get stomped. We're gonna take them by the legs. We're just gonna, we're gonna throw them. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're gonna be playing like, yo, bro, catch. Just throw them. Yeah. Like, oops, I trapped you. Yeah, catch them. Oh, yeah. Right. like, oops. Oops. <laughs> and we, you know I mean, we think, we wanna, we wanna think of some fly creative shit, man. I think they actually did them Arabs did that. I heard uh, the story them Arabs took a, uh, the soldier's head and chopped it off and they was playing soccer with it. Really? They actually got it. That was that soldier's right there. Make some big ass, what's that shit? Uh, Chuck E. Cheese's, you roll the ball up and what is it? Make a oh, big yeah, ass the one of them. Ball. Yeah, yeah, make a big ass ski no, ball. Make a giant ski ball and you roll because you don't mind That's pretty disgusting, actually. <laughs> when you think about it, that's really nothing. I'll go ahead. There goes your homie. I'm not breaking his feet. Uh, it's a good point again. I told you every time we got here. Every time we got here. He's watching it. And they drive on the same lane, the same damn lane. Yeah. They just want to see it. That's the second time you drove by. Uh, go ahead. And with these will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. So yeah, all these, all you old ass hoes, you gonna get broke to pieces. All you old, cause all these uh, young hoes was birthed by these older hoes. You know what I'm saying? Cause their mama taught them how to be a hoe. Cause we got third, fourth generation hoes now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's really where we have about third, fourth generation yeah. hoes. A long line. Everybody. Cause you know back in the 1800s. It, if you got caught cheating on you got your ass beat, the cops didn't care if you got your ass beat. Even back in the early uh, 20th century. Yeah. That's why Savannah was terrified when those two wicked ass motherfuckers lied and said they, they caught her laying with somebody. Yep. She was fearful for her life. Yeah, I was just reading that today. You know? Yeah, because they said that she had sex with one of them or something. Yeah. They, um, they said that uh, cause they wouldn't, she, they wouldn't, she wouldn't give them none. So they yep. went and lied and said she was laying with some other young motherfucker. And they couldn't hit, capture him because he was too young and strong to hold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Too, you know, yeah, too yeah. wicked ass. He wasn't even there. They don't know where he right. it up. And Daniel got him. Yep. Daniel got they, him. But, they dumbasses had two different stories. That's how Daniel right. got famous. Yep. Behold. I mean, this. I'm sorry. This is a precept. Ezekiel 16 and 44. Behold. Everyone that uses this proverb shall use this proverb against thee. Same. So we're going to use this proverb against y'all. As is the mother, so is her daughter. As is the mother, so is her daughter. So if you a hoe, chances are your mama's a hoe and your grandma's a hoe. Your auntie's a hoe, your grandma's a hoe, your mama's a hoe, your aunt, y'all all hoes. I don't think Reverend Cooks have read that in church. Yeah, the preacher ain't never going to teach that scripture. He, he going to sit there and talk about how bad the man is all day. He going to sit and say the man, men are no good, but y'all, they won't take care of y'all beautiful queens, right? Bye. No, we can't get you a man to take care of your baby. That's crazy. Yeah, he'll, he'll tell you to leave your husband. That's crazy. You got a bunch of wicked ass hoes. So-called man in the 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. These preachers gonna get put to death, man. All the preachers for them too. And they gonna get put to death. They always sit there and talk shit about the man. Always put down the man. So everything in this society is all against the man. The Israelite man. Yeah, the Israelite man. If the Israelite man can't get a job, you can't get a job unless you're a faggot. If you got a beard, most people ain't gonna hire you. If you have a beard, they gonna tell you, you gotta shave your face and look like a faggot. The other men, the heathens, Africans, they got all kind of shit, man. You see, all of them got, they got uh, calves for their fucking children to drive. Yeah, you know what I mean? They, here, they got gas stations, carryouts. They they got they got all they food stamps plus a job yeah. plus. Plus some, act, they get heathen well, checks. Grants they, the other grants they get. Heathens come over here and get 20, 25 stacks. They didn't pay yeah. taxes, I don't think. They don't pay for taxes. seven years. Right. I heard about that the other day. For seven years, they don't got to pay taxes. What kind of fucked up shit is that? They got to ask back. Hold on, first, yeah, they got it backwards. If, this is such a great country. You should charge motherfuckers to come here. It feels so great. And you can, we go to amusement park. That costs money to get an amusement park. This is common sense against the, the, the Israelite man. Just common fucking sense. Common sense. Let me get the scripture. This shit is backwards, man. Matthews 24 and 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Oh yeah, so you hoes, y'all go. If the all hell breaks out loose, the economy collapses in the winter. You know the electric goes out, get hit with an EMP. Everything gets shut down. Your ass gonna be in trouble. You gonna be a deep shit. <laughs> you go up this middle of the winter. For oh, then yeah. shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. It's gonna be great, great tribulation. tribulation. Just like that movie The Road. Yeah, everybody gotta watch that movie The Road, because that's what's coming, man. What am I looking at that great tribulation? Tribulation, that means. Since the beginning of the world. To this time. No, nor ever shall be. Starts with try. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna read that again. Matthew 24 and 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. <laughs> to this time, nor, no, nor ever shall be. <laughs> and except those days should be shortened. That's right. There should no flesh be saved. That's pretty much saying if, if it ain't short, you need that devil, there won't be no more flesh. You will destroy everything. So, even, them, even themselves. Matthew 24 and 22, and except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The elect. For the elect. Not everything. Who is going with the elect? He don't care for that. Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Nathaniel 7. Nathaniel 7, pretty much, he probably going to come out sooner or later and say he's the Messiah. He, he got a messiah complex. Farrakhan already said he was. Oh, did he? I did. I got the fucking tapes. Hey, but he said he even said Obama was a messiah. Mm. But now he can't stand Obama. Right. Uh, so, man, he confused, man. Farrakhan, just... That's a whole, yeah, whole food. Just stick to your violin, man. Go play the violin and make some harmonious music. Here you go. This is a definition of tribulation. Distress or suffering resulting from oppression or persecution also, they trying to experiment. Uh, persecution. A persecution. Those happening. Persecution. Yeah, he's gonna get. He's gonna persecute us too. He's doing. He persecuting us now. Yep. Right now. <laughs> hey, they got an enema. Did you say where it came from? Yeah. Um, what uh, what word it come from? Uh, from Anglo French, from Latin, from Latin tribulate tribulation. Tribulary to press and press. From tribulum, drag used in threshing. Um, Middle East, Middle English tribulation. Um, that's good. Yeah, that was it. That's good. Yeah. So the Lord, 
But the Bible says the day of the Lord should be darkness and not light. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. There's gonna be no light in it. Hey, we should get that. What's that, Amos? We ain't got that in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. Hold up. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Captains and rulers, like all these military people, they're gonna get broken pieces. Cause the, when the Lord comes back out of the clouds, when he's gonna come out of the sky with his angels and chariots, and then the military is actually gonna try to fight the Lord. And then they're gonna get broken pieces, man. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done yeah, inside. Pretty, this, is, this is the land of Chaldea right here. This is the land of sorcerer and witchcraft. Well, according to the Bible, America's known as uh, Great Babylon. This is Great Babylon, the Great Who. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea as America all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight. In your sight. In our sight. Uh, everything. The Lord. Everything. Yeah. Because uh, we're witnesses. Cause Zion is. We're Zion. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, and that the evil has been done to us. Okay. We're Zion. We're, we're Jerusalem. That's Israel. Israel is Zion. Okay, the, the holy. That's the Lord. That's the holy hill of Zion. Israel. It's really I, I, it, uh, Jerusalem's a people before the place, right? That's right. Amos 5 and 18. Go unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what is it? To what end is it for you? Oh yeah, because a lot of these baggage they actually. I can't wait till Jesus comes back. <laughs> oh no, you no you can't. Oh you don't. You better hope he takes his time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Jesus. <laughs> oh, I just got finished blowing on somebody's wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, somebody. Yeah. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. See, that's in the Bible. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So when the Lord comes back, it's going to be terrifying. Ooh, for like the this. heathens, it's, it's going to be beautiful for us. But for, for two-thirds of Israel and all these heathens, it's going to be terrible. Keep going. What? And we had dreams about it too. Yeah, everybody, everybody had dreams about the day of the Lord too. You know the Lord, and you know horror movies got a little exaggeration in them. Oh, yeah. But when the Lord gets here, those exaggerations will come. Come to light. That's right. Hey, wait till you see those missiles. <laughs> here we go. That's some horror. Amos 5 and 19. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. <laughs> Escape the lion, but, but, but there's uh, a big ass grizzly bear. You ever saw a giant bear, man? Go see, see how huge those bears are. Then it stands up on it. Oh, oh God. Man. It's about crazy, his man. head right touch. Uh, you see how they got the, they, uh, the, the uh, word smoke shop tobacco? Right, right, right. His right. head touches that. They're man. that big. They're, They're that, that tall. Big. Yep. At least about 10 feet. Man. I couldn't believe the size of them damn brown bears, man. Oh, he, he says it again. Uh, Amos 5 and 20. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness? And not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it. None. <laughs> so yeah, that's the day the Lord is. There's no light in it. Hey, that's <laughs> funny though. It, it's funny. It's funny. That's some shit you can forward to. Cause no, you don't like if you never read the Bible, you don't even know it goes hard like that. That's right. Like, why? Wow, that's in the Bible? Yep. Shaking their head. And those are days we be coming alive, man. When the disasters be happening here in Columbus, yeah. man. We be We'd be smiling. Like, I, would smile, I would smile today when the, <laughs> the gunman was shooting people at the Capitol building. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't I can't I can't wait till the next disaster happens here, man. It's whatever whatever happens. Oh, oh I found that thing they said uh any MS practice for uh, uh, a nuclear missile going off here in the I got yeah. it in my phone. I can read it on my phone. Oh no, yeah, bring that up. Yeah. Amos 5 and 21. I hate, I despise your feast days. So the Lord hates and despises your feast days. That's talking about Christmas 
the Lord, God hates Christmas. Okay, he hates Christmas, he hates Easter, he hates Halloween, he hates all that shit y'all heathens be involved in. <laughs> Read that again, man. He, in most five and 21, I hate, I despise your feast days. The most High hates Christmas. He hates, he even hates your birthday party. See, boy? And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. So he always, That's the time of year we're in right now. So he said he's not up in your assemblies. He ain't, they, that's not his spirit. The Lord's spirit is not the spirit of Christmas. Hey, Keep going. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. So yeah, like nowadays, when people don't sacrifice them, well, some people sacrifice to the devil. But in, in a way that, you know, people, in a way they kind of like, they're praying over that damn pork. They do, pork. That, that's their sacrifice. Praying over that damn pork. Well, so then now at Christmas, these people, they leave out cookies to Santa Claus. They didn't have their kids leave out cookies to Santa Claus knowing damn well Santa Claus ain't going to eat those cookies. <laughs> they're sitting there lying to your children. Right. And damn. really, that baking cakes, that goes back to baking cakes of the Queen of Heaven. Because Santa Claus is really bad. When you can look up, when you look into it, Santa Claus is actually Baal, which is, you know what I'm saying, or Odin, which is the same shit. They all wear the same, Odin wore the same kind of hat that the Santa, Santa Claus, Claus wear. Odin wear that same hat, yeah. And then the Baal wore that same hat. Yeah, the KKK wear the same hat. Oh, yeah. You gotta be a fucking retard to be in the KKK. So, that shit was created by the Democratic Party. Uh, keep going. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord Power, because the Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended. And uh, that's, that's talking about you know, like the, the, the slave trade when they brought when uh, Esau brought all the black people over to America on the slave ships. Uh, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. So the Lord's going to stretch his hand out on Edom. Okay. And will, and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from teeming. So really, because the modern day, uh, the modern day Edomite stronghold city is America. Okay. Because in the ancient world, Edom lived down in Petra, Georgia. But, it, but now this applies to America. Because this is... America, the United States of America was created by Edomites. Thomas Jefferson was the Edomite. Okay, all them founding fathers were all a bunch of devil worshippers. They was all Freemasons. And do you know your boy Jones, Alex Jones, was the shit out of tell you that there was such thing as good Freemasons. And even the, how come all the Freemasons ain't got windows on their buildings, man? 21, You go to any Fre Freemason temple and none of their temples have windows. If they such great people, how come they don't have windows on the their building? They, they in there, yeah, they hide this shit. And they, they, they do it on purpose. People say, oh, that's not a big deal. Right. That's a, yeah, that is a big deal. It tells you they hiding something. They and they're sacrificing children. Right. Oh, didn't it come out that they found a bunch of dead people underneath uh, Benjamin Franklin's house? They did a, uh, like a, they was digging underneath Benjamin Franklin's house. And they found a bunch of, dead bodies, like he was experimenting on people or something. Frankenstein, probably. Yeah, he probably was Frankenstein, too. Because he was deep into that knowledge. Yeah. Benjamin Franklin, he did have some knowledge, but he had that knowledge of wickedness. He was working through the left-hand side. You know what I'm saying? He was a sorcerer. Warlock. Yeah, warlock. Oh, so yeah, so America, this is talking about America. So what, what did it say? And I will make it desolate from Tebow, and they of the damned shall fall by the sword. So yeah, so America's gonna be destroyed. There's no doubt about it. America is gonna be destroyed. All you, if you ain't right, you, you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna die. You're gonna get exploded by a missile. You're gonna be incinerated. You're gonna be disintegrated. You're gonna be pulverized. If you, you're gonna be like Lot's wife, get turned to a pile of salt, a pile of ashes. <laughs> and he put dust. Uh, he, yeah, you're gonna just, just blow at it, you just drift away. <laughs> That's gonna be beautiful.